Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is David here, and so today it's the evening of September 24th, and we have a lot to talk about. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. But before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and say something. I am extremely sorry about my absence on this YouTube channel. Yes, I know it's been six whole days. Where have I been? Have I been sick? Have I been in the hospital? Am I dead? What is going on? I'm sure that was in some of your heads, or maybe not. Thankfully, hopefully it wasn't. Um, I'm doing just fine. I had a lot of things school-related. I had a few Jewish holidays here and there, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. So shout out to my, uh, to my Jewish viewers and listeners and fans and subscribers and friends and whatever. Uh, so shout out to you guys. Um, no, but, uh, yeah, so I had, I had, uh, you know, a crazy couple of weeks, and I've been a little bit busy, uh, so pumping a few videos out haven't really been my big to-do. I was shooting a video, and I was editing one, I was working on one, but, um, I think I might ultimately scrap that one altogether, just because of the fact that, um, it seems like the iPhone 6S, which is, yes, is releasing tomorrow, that is what we need to talk about. The iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus is going to be releasing tomorrow, September 25th. So I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you guys that um, I probably will do another speed test video. Now, the uh, the video that you are going to be seeing is going to be a little bit outdated, but I'm going to put it all in one video so it won't be outdated. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to run a Geekbench for this iPhone 5. Most likely, I'm going to shoot this right after I'm done shooting this video. Uh, for you guys, and that will go up um, probably next week sometime. That will go up after, you know, I get all this craziness with the unboxing done and the review done, all that kind of stuff. Um, but as soon as all those other videos go, go live, I can work on, uh, you know, the, the, the speed test and everything like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to film a speed test on this uh, because unfortunately, I wanted to let you guys know this, unfortunately... In order to get the 6S, I am going to have to trade in my 5. So unfortunately, no more 5, which meant that I had to go ahead and unjailbreak it. So just for safety precautions, because since I didn't pre-order it, I'm not 100% sure if the store is going to have it tomorrow morning. My dad seems pretty confident where he's going, not too many people go. And obviously, for that sake, I am not going to go and disclose where it is that he goes and maybe you know maybe eventually in a future you know q a video or something or somewhere where you know it's not the day before an iphone 6s you know launch where i need an upgrade and i'm not going to let the entire internet know you know different secrets so that the entire internet doesn't show up at the place where we're going um but yeah so <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to make it sound that way, but it is what it is. I want to be able to get the iPhone 6S, um, and, you know, it's for you guys. I want to be able to review it for you guys. I want to be able to show off 3D Touch and live photos and all of the new features that are found on the iPhone 6S. And also, there's, there's other new features on iOS 9. Even, you know, I, I know back a long time ago in June, I showed you guys the beta, but a lot has changed in iOS 9 since beta 1. So, you know, it would be nice to have an iPhone 6S to be able to do that. So when I went ahead and restored my iPhone, when I went ahead and used City Unpacker to restore it, I actually kept my uh, jailbreakable status. Uh, if I go to Settings General and About, you guys can't see it right now, but I am on software version 8.4. So currently right now, it is still jailbreakable, um, which is awesome. And then another thing too is my Apple Watch also unpaired. Um, with my iPhone as soon as I was done restoring it. Um, so yeah, so I was like, there was honestly no reason to do that because I was like, I'm going to get rid of this soon, so why would I pair it with this? Because if I pair it with this, as soon as this goes away, then this is going to be a broken connection up until I get the 6S. So really, what's the point of doing that? So I'm going to wait to use this watch until I get the 6S, which obviously is going to be tomorrow. So unfortunately, at school, um, I will be still on Twitter because I'm actually going to bring my iPod to school. So I, I'm still going to be uh, you know, active on social media, Twitter. Instagram, whatever, all that kind of stuff, Snapchat, I'll still be, you know, active on all social media that I'm on, everything really normally that I'm on. The only thing is, though, sometimes in different areas of the school, there is no Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is, 
let's just say, not up to par with where it should be at my school. So um, it's it has gotten better, I'll say that. But for right now, it's just not where it should be uh, in terms of, like, come on, guys, seriously, it's 2015. Get your game together and make the Wi-Fi actually work at school. But that's something for another day. Uh, um, but yeah, so anyway, I am going to be getting the iPhone 6S tomorrow. I plan on getting the regular iPhone 6S gold 64 gigabyte model. Um, but if I don't get the gold color, I might get a different color. I might get the silver color. I might get a space gray color. But I am definitely going to get 64 gigabytes. 16 is too big for me. Or too big. Sorry, I was thinking of 128. 16 gigabytes is too small for me. And 128 is too big. So uh, 32 really was a good sweet spot. And unfortunately, since they discontinued the 32, the 64 is my only option. And it's kind of the sweet spot for me right there because I did used to get messages, um, you know, but I ended up deleting stuff anyway. I did used to get messages on my iPhone sometimes, uh, you know, saying, hey, like, you know, you're almost... Your, your storage is almost like, you know, gone, like you, you, you're basically almost out of storage, like time to delete some stuff. So I've gotten those messages before uh, on my iPhone, but I ended up just deleting some apps and it just kind of, those, you know, messages just kind of went away. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. That's basically all I want to talk about. Um, and so yeah, so I will have a iPhone 6S unboxing. Uh, so, okay, here's what I'm going to do. So, I am actually going to be unboxing my iPhone 6S Live on Periscope. So, I'm going to be doing what I did with the Apple Watch. So, I'm going to be unboxing it live on Periscope, and I'm hopefully going to make sure my setup is better because I know a lot of people were saying, oh, well, like, I can't see, and it was kind of because I wanted to make sure it was the best that I could do for the actual video that was getting released. So, I'm going to try to make sure that there's a sweet spot between letting you guys be able to see what's actually going on on the live stream for those, you know, for those of you guys that decide to tune in. Um, the live stream will be held on Periscope. It won't be on YouTube, it'll be on Periscope. So if you don't follow me on Periscope, my Periscope is, I think it's still at MacTutorials14. If not, it's at the Apple Attack. Try either one. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, it'll automatically just pop up. Uh, and we'll show you like people that are using tw uh, people that are using Periscope that follow you on Twitter or that you follow, sorry, on Twitter, um, and it'll pop up with a list of results as long as they're active on Periscope. So I am going to be Periscoping that. Um, so get excited. That's going to be live. Like I said, Periscope, and I'm not sure of you know a specific time or whatever. Most likely as soon as I come home because I'm going to be waiting. You know, it's going to be waiting for me. So most likely, uh, if not right after I come home. Uh, probably very, very soon after I come home, I will do a live unboxing, and after the live unboxing, I will be doing a edited unboxing, which go, which will be going on my YouTube channel uh, a few hours later. It'll just be me voicing it over and talking about various components and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about the fact that I didn't post videos for a little while. I will try to get better, uh, you know, at that. And it really has. It's been a it's been a long time since I've done this. Normally, I'm pretty good with uh, updating my channel regularly, but for some reason, I just let time slip by. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try not to let it happen again. New videos coming your way tomorrow, and even a new video coming your way later tonight. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, this is David signing out. Peace.